Hey guys, Alex here, and I just watched Pacific Rim 2 Uprising. I got a sneak preview of this movie, and I actually enjoyed this movie quite a bit. Very fun movie. Um, when I watched the first Pacific Rim movie back in... I don't know when that was. I hated the first Pacific Rim movie. I felt like everything about it was derivative. You know, the the whole story felt like it was Evangelion, Gundam, and then you got some, some Godzilla thrown into that. Even the acting felt derivative. You had a guy who was trying to act like Sam Rockwell. Easy. Um, I just felt like everything about that movie was was terrible. The 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 uh, the speeches that they gave, they were awful. They were cringeworthy. No, no, no. Sorry. Um, and uh, the only thing I liked about the first movie was Ron Perlman and uh, and and the big giant robot versus kaiju scenes. Those are pretty cool. But the story itself was was pretty pretty bland, very derivative, and the acting was awful. I don't know why the acting was awful, because all those actors are great outside of that movie, but in that movie, they were terrible. So, I came into Pacific Rim 2 with a very a very closed mind. Um, I wasn't expecting much from this movie, but the fact it was a sneak preview, it was free for me. I was like, shoot, I'll watch anything that's free. So, I watched this movie, and it was awesome. Now, the star of this movie for part two was uh, John Boyega. Uh, he he played Finn in the the new Star Wars movies. He was awesome in this. I feel like they gave him so much material to work with, and and I think you got a whole range of of personality from him. He he's hilarious and he's very charismatic w w when he wants to be. So I was very happy to see him in this movie, and I was actually drawn by the main character in this movie. Unlike Pacific Rim One, I hated that movie. Um, but yeah, he's basically the son of of. The, the, the guy in the first movie, I, I, he's the one who gave that speech about canceling the apocalypse, which made me cringe. Um, but yeah, the the action sequences in this movie are awesome. Uh, I like the, the alien design, of course, the monster design, the, the robot design. You know, that was never a problem in the first movie. I liked all that from the first movie. But in the second movie, I felt um, I appreciated it more just because the story was a lot better. The story was uh, very streamlined. And the acting seemed more tongue-in-cheek, so I feel like they were having more fun with it. So any bad acting that was in there, it, it just felt like it was a race because everyone was having a good time with it. Even the guy who was acting like Sam Rockwell in the first movie, I felt like he did a better job in the second movie. So I highly recommend this movie. It's awesome. Had a great time at the theaters. I love Godzilla. I love anime. I love